Hello, and welcome to my tour video of the Rene Grandma Grossman Residential Commons. So in this video, I'm going to go through what it means to be a resident at South. And uh, I've got two of my friends to come along with me and have some fun. Oh, hey, Marge. Hey. What's good? I haven't seen you before this moment. I know, but I just moved wow. in to the May <laughs> This is March. Uh, Hi, March, is one of, March is one of my residents, and uh, we are also going to check out her room as well. Let's go do that, shall we? Across the way is Kathy Dining Commons, which houses all of the house tables. So they're pretty small. They really only have enough room to fit like a handful of letters, but it gets the job done because who's receiving mail anyway, right? Me. <laughs> to my right, we've got a handful of vending machines and they are very useful when it comes down to getting snacks in the middle of the night when you do not want to go to the Midway Mart, which is just outside South. Very, very useful to buy some good old ginger ale. So we are now entering the Janata house, which is designated with these maroon red door frames here. The elevator is usually working. It's usually right here, but this specific one is out of service. That seems to be a trend in this building. <laughs> it's useful because the ones on either wing go up to the ninth floor, whereas the one in front of the front desk only goes up to five. So if your floor is above five, you usually want to come to one of these guys. I can also show you the trash and recycling room right here. I know it's super interesting, but you know, notable. So in case you're wondering what people do with their trash, we got their two bins here and then recycling them as well. And Mark is getting it on great. Um, and these exist on every floor. So we are coming into now the Janata House Lounge, which is the house that I RA for and that Mark is a resident in. We have a very, very large space uh, by university standards. A TV typically will have like a PS4 as well as a Switch. In these cabinets down here, we've got art supplies, uh, lots of plants. The house kitchen is technically closed right now for us, but we can definitely go check out a different kitchen in a little bit. And then moving over here, we have a very nice dining table where people typically do their homework or upper round, play board games, that type of thing. So this behind me is the study. So it is located directly above the Janata Lounge. So if I go out of this little door, we have a fun little balcony, in fact, that looks out onto the lounge, like so. Oh man, you've caught me coming into the women's restroom. <laughs> the toilets are actually pretty okay. Um, they've got the power saving candles, which I'm all about. We've got over here a handful of sinks that are the, the push variety, so they eventually turn off, which is slightly annoying. But terrible. And then over here are the showers. This here, the women's second floor first stall is in fact my favorite shower because it has the best the water best pressure. Water pressure. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right, yeah. Sophia, come get, come get the zoom on this one. Oh no, no, wait, someone touched in the splash. <laughs> look, look at this. <laughs> this is what we are here for. Damn. So very quick to hop, I would say. Other showers are less good. But here is the handicap shower. Not too bad. Um, but again, like, this is probably more typical for the rest of the dorm, I would say. So we are going up to what is currently known as the void. It is a fifth floor study space. And it is 
experience. <laughs> You'll notice the doors are now green because we are officially in Wendt House now. We're too high for Janata. In case you want to take a sneak peek. I think we need a disco ball. We so need a disco ball. So on the fifth floor above the elevators is the quiet space or you know the void so when we go in there it is like a silent space like no talking so we're just going to quickly look in but what's notable about the place is that it's actually two floors and the views on a clear day it is not clear today are mwah, mwah. you're able to see the sears tower and the john hancock and rockefeller it's really 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 nice Quick pizza break at Del Giorno House. Um, I bought a large pizza from Medici because they haven't opened up the dining halls to RAs yet, so Lame. it was an investment. <laughs> I love the useless railing of Del Giorno House. So fun. So this is the kitchen of Del Giorno House, which is on the west side of South. And I want to get some pizza, but I can say in general that this kitchen is pretty standard for the entire building. Um, we got stove, nice sink, microwave, fridge, and then oftentimes these will hold different types of baking supplies and plates and cups and bowls, those types of things. I think a lot of these are locked. There you go. But do not take food from other houses. I'm just showing you this because this is mine and all the other kitchens are closed. But in general, you gotta stick to your own kitchen. Important. All right, so now that our lunch break is over, I'm going to do what hopefully you were all hoping for, which is a room tour. So let me show you my room. I should say though that I, because I'm an RA, have a slightly larger room than everyone else. I will show you what a normal single looks like in a second, but this is what we call a dingle, so a double single, which is a single that is as big as a double. Yeah, so meant for one person. This is my cute little door. It's got my name on it. My RH has made the decorations for me, but I fully intend to put a little cork board and some pictures of Andrew Garfield back on it. Uh, it is a key mechanism. And then the only way that you can deadbolt it is with this like little hotel thing, which is sort of annoying. And you get like one or two light switches that go to these overheads here, which are like uh, fluorescent lighting, right? So this is what my room looks like from the corner. And so if I go this way, we've got the window, and then behind Marge is the closet. So in, in our Ray room, we also get a chair. Pretty nice, pretty cozy, right Marge? Super cozy. All right, so I think I'll just show you some of the things that come in every room, and then some of the things that I personally really enjoy. Do not show the American <laughs> Girl <Girls> Club. <laughs> Oh, uh, look, Sophia, you've got an American Girl doll that's so late. <laughs> Please stop throwing. Please stop throwing. Um, my RHs wanted me to, or I asked to have, I need to rephrase, I don't even know. Uh, the American Girl doll is just there because I wanted to fix its hair, and my RHs had it in their room, and I like playing hair salon. That's very fun for me. All right, so this is the desk. It comes with like a little chair. It rocks a little bit. It gave me a heart attack. I did not know it rocked. Yeah, they <laughs> are surprising sometimes. We also get a very full garbage can and a not so full recycling can. Um, in these desks, there are two little cubbies as well as a large pullout cubby for all of your trinkets, as well as, I can't reach it through inside, as well as a secondary, mini plate, I guess. I think someone's gonna have a whiteboard instead of- Oh, really? A whiteboard? Yeah. Damn, okay. And also like a larger pullout? Yeah, it's like a whiteboard normally. Okay. Whiteboard potentially here. And then also a 
shallow pull out. Here is my view. So it looks out onto Kathy, which is right here, and then BJ is behind it. And then if we look this way, that is Rockefeller Chapel right there. So this is a north facing window. We also have air conditioning. It sometimes works. So you can turn it on like so. Sophia is sleeping on my twin extra large bed. It is quite long, quite cozy, and it can be lofted. So right now it's, you know, at like a reasonable height, but if you wanted to put this dresser um, below it, you could, if you could loft it all the way up. That's what I did. Yeah, it's a good way to go, I think. That's what I did first year as well, like when I was in a single and had no space. <laughs> yeah, it's a good space saver. Yeah. In South, we also have these shelves, which are actually very easy to maneuver, and it can be slid up and down these walls, depending on, you know, if maybe you want the, the shelf at like a desk level height, it's up to you. Here are the cabinets. There are three drawers. Here's my pants. I would say, let's see, it's about three quarters of a hand's height, and all of the drawers are equally large. So then behind me is the closet. It's actually very large, so let's take a closer look, shall we? So the closet comes with a top rack, which you can put little boxes and such. Also a very large amount of space for hanged things. And then, you know, lots and lots of floor room. So I do shoes and then I have this little box set from Target where I keep my toiletries. Go Target. In general, we can say that there are a lot of outlets outlets pretty much in every wall but if we're talking about what i think is useful to have i definitely suggest some of these hooks i think those are super nice mirror very important you know a rug can tie the room together and then also you know like wall decorations i think south especially on the first floor has a lot of wall space and i haven't put up my pictures yet but i definitely need to because this wall is barren i also think it's really nice to not have only fluorescent lighting. So I like to have like a little bedside table with like a little lamp and this one actually charges and you can turn it on by pressing it. Ooh. How cozy is that? Third floor to March's room. Yeah, Show yeah. you a single. What was? <laughs> room everywhere. <laughs> Which as a STEM major, I can personally brag that I'm in the pie room. Aha. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's like you plan this almost. I know, it? right? <laughs> All right, give us the tour. So yeah, um, it's kind of small. It's very small. It's a single, but I managed to save a lot of space by shoving most of my storage under my bed, including my toiletries bag. Um, and I got get these from um, Bed Bath and Beyond. These little, most of them are empty because I'm still waiting on my stuff from the store to come in. But they're super handy because um, you can like put stuff in drawers that they don't give you. This is my desk with a lovely desk light and leftover art stuff from my art class. Here we go, there we go. Cute. I almost never have the big light on because it gives me a headache. So I have the small lights instead. I kind of went ham for the plant theme this year, not gonna lie. I have a south facing window, unlike these which I personally can vouch for, especially if you're in one of the lower floors, because the snow blowers will come through at 8 a.m. sharp every morning in winter quarter. And if you're on the outside facing windows, you can hear them, as I learned very acutely last year. I like it. I think oh, it's really fun. You. I like your tapestry as well. Thank you. Yeah, the tapestry I got from, I think, Amazon, and the collage kit I got from Target. Cool. Mm. Yeah, you're quite high up in the air, huh? Thank you. I like to feel like I sleep in a tree. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I also wanted to show the single user. I know I showed the women's restroom on the second floor earlier. This is third floor. And so we have a co-ed bathroom just down there. And then most floors will have a single user, um, in, especially for any house. But at the very least, like you could walk down if you're on like the second floor, which doesn't have a single user, right? So. Hopefully this is open. Nice, it is. So these are typically a mess, but you can get an idea of what it looks like. I would say that the water pressure in the single users is slightly less than the typical like 
everyone shower, but at least it's Friday. And uh, it's pretty nice. I don't know. Dee -dee -dee. Next up, on to the Dean's Lounge. Oh, the Dean's Lounge is amazing. Best piano in the building. So true. It's going back to the main elevator. Just to the right of the lobby are two printers, which you can use your uh, your ID to get money for and scan into and print from. So this is the West Lounge. Looks like people are playing, so we'll have to be quiet again. Here is the basement. We've taken our IDs down. We got lots of very scary long hallways and uh, the two elevators, the, the center elevators that took us here. Let's go check out the laundry room. I did my laundry here this morning, actually. It looks like you can use coins of a lie and it looks like you can use a credit card, also a lie. You <laughs> only use the app, only the app works. The washers, the dryers, straight forward. For those of you who don't know how to do laundry, because I know that some of you don't know how to do laundry, you pull this thing out and you take out the lid because a lot of you don't do this and it's really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also pointing out that it's not just this row. There's actually several rows of laundry and drying. So very, very, very large, even a handful of ironing boards. Although I believe that if you want to use an iron, you need to check one out from the lobby. This is the light storage. I think it should be open. Aha! Wow, it's so clean right now, oh my gosh. So this is the light storage. I highly suggest that you leave your bike here if you're not going to use it for a handful of weeks. Uh, lots and lots and lots of space. Um, lots and lots of uh, forgotten bikes as well. <laughs> Oh, here's a music practice room. Want to take a look? Oh, it's got black. All right, so the music practice rooms are currently being used for residents moving in their stuff, but they all have pianos and they'll usually have music stands as well, or at like the very least tables, stuff like that. So lots of fun upright pianos. And then let's move into the recreational space, which is closed. But I'll go check this door. If you want to just look in, go for it. Aha! Here we go. Oh, this is a very good room. Wow. Well, here we go. And this is the mail room. So it's down in the basement, as you know. And so then if you need your mail and you get the little notification in your email, you can come down here, swipe your D at the desk. And then the nice mail staff will come and get you your box. Oh my god, so loud. Here's the ice machine. It's got ice. Mm -hmm. Quality content. Such quality content. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. That is all that I can think of in this dorm that's not repetitive. So hopefully that was useful to you and you have a better idea of a little bit of like what exists in South or, you know, Rene Granville Grossman, the residential commons. And uh, that's it. Bye.